Paul O'Grady died unexpectedly but peacefully last month at the age of 67, and ITV paid fitting tribute to the much-loved star last night with a special homage program to the presenter and comedian. Viewers were left in tears as his friends spoke about their memories of him in For the Love of Paul O'Grady, and at the end of the poignant show, the channel included a tribute to his ex, Brendan Murphy, with R.I.P. Brendan Murphy in the credits. Paul, who was known for his entertaining drag act Lily Savage, lost his former best friend, manager and lover, Brendan Murphy, to an inoperable brain tumor in June 2005. He died two days before Paul's 50th birthday at Charing Cross Hospital. Paul O'Grady has spoken about Brendan in the past and talking to the mirror at the time of his death 18 years ago, Paul said, it couldn't get any worse. I look like someone who shouldn't bother coming home from the cemetery. My hair was coming out in cobs and it lost two and a half stone. I looked like a hunched up old man. It lost my best mate, someone who'd been in my life for 25 years and saw me through the days when I was lucky to earn 50 pounds for standing on a beer crate in the corner of a pub telling jokes. Murph and I were like brothers, joined at the hip, thick as thieves. It transcended any sexual relationship we'd had. This was a partnership, a double act, Emma Peel and Steed, Laurel and Hardy. We were both 49, barely able to believe what we'd achieved, it just won a BAFTA for the Paul O'Grady show, and then suddenly bang, has gone. He added, one day I had this mate who was feisty and on the ball, the next Hess saying to me, what's this? And I realize Hess pointing at a cup. We got him in for an MRI scan and waited. When they told us it was brain cancer I knew this was the end, but somehow we had to get through it people have said to me since, how did you go on TV through all of that? The truth is Brandon would be in his bedroom, at my house, watching. He couldn't speak, but we had a kind of sign language and it sent him a secret signal had be reassured that life was normal. Neither of us were quitters. I kept a diary and I look at it now. What we went through. It'd go into his bedroom and tap dance or play the trumpet to keep his spirits up. After losing his longtime love, Paul married former ballet dancer and boyfriend of 11 years. Andre Portasio in 2017. Announcing the tragic news of Paul's death in a statement, Paul's devastated husband Andre said, It is with great sadness that I inform you that Paul has passed away unexpectedly but peacefully yesterday evening. We ask, at this difficult time, that whilst you celebrate his life you also respect our privacy as we came to terms with this loss. He will be greatly missed by his loved ones, friends, family, animals and all those who enjoyed his humor, wit and compassion. I know that he would want me to thank you for all the love you have shown him over the years.